Hello, my name is John Hubis, currently at the North Carolina State University. In my early days, I was uh, working on trying to set up some laboratories that were quite different and, uh, and more hands-on in the uh, laboratory. Went to my department head and uh, asked, you know, where can we find some of these things? And he suggested that I contact AAPT. I didn't know what AAPT was, but certainly uh, I found out and I wrote letters uh, to the, uh, the organization. And several uh, members responded. The secretary handed out uh, the letter and uh, they started telling me, you know, what the sorts of things that they were doing. And uh, one in particular, Hori Habashem, uh, got me into uh, lots of build your own experiments, uh, philosophy of the laboratory. As it turned out, it was a project that they were working on at that time called PSSC Physics. And uh, it was Ori who said, you know, you should become a member. And so I joined in 1959, American Association of Physics Teachers. It's an experience that uh, I think uh, everyone should, should uh, get into. It's a organization that has people who are willing to do things for you, to help you out, especially if you're a newcomer. Uh, they want to see to it that the, uh, the organization can uh, fulfill the needs of all physics teachers and those who would like to become physics teachers. So I've attended over a hundred uh, meetings of the AAPT uh, all over the United States. I've managed to get to all 50 states in one way or another from uh, attending uh, these meetings. And uh, you can always expect that uh, you'll find something new. And uh, not only that, but you'll find some contacts that can help out with projects that uh, you are uh, stuck on. I think that it's a very, very large family. In fact, in the early days uh, when there were only a few folks in the organization, uh, families took part in just about everything. It's uh, changed more recently because of the membership uh, getting larger uh, and uh, the places that we can go are, are uh, different. So for a new generation, what you have is uh, uh, meetings at hotels and nearby universities so you get accustomed to uh, seeing schools uh, that uh, have active physics departments mainly because uh, that's what they're that's why they uh, volunteered uh, to be a resource and uh, it's an organization of volunteers the uh, about 20 different uh, uh, committees deal with a wide range of, uh, of uh, topics that are important to uh, physics teachers and uh, those uh, committees are always looking for other volunteers uh, to work with them so you get a nice flux a change uh, on a regular basis of uh, ideas whether it happens to be for apparatus happens to be for undergraduate physics education whether it happens to be for uh, upper level demonstrations i mean it's a wide variety of uh, topics, everyone could find an interest, and one of the first things that will happen if you express an interest in one of these areas is someone's going to come along and tap you on the shoulder and say, uh, hey, become a member. Uh, and long after you've been a member for a few years, uh, you'll probably remain on the mailing list as a friend of that particular committee uh, so that you're uh, up to date on what else is going on. The uh, question always comes up, what about the cost? The cost, they argue about the cost. Let me just tell you to stop and think of what you learn is going to be something that's going to be helpful to you for the rest of your, your career. And the investment, while it might sound like a lot today, uh, it's an investment in your future that uh, it'll be very difficult uh, to judge the return that uh, you get from being a member of the organization. Organization produces a couple of, uh, of journals. The physics teacher, primarily aimed at uh, the introductory physics teacher, whether it be high school, two-year college, uh, four-year college, university, 
and uh, also a more sophisticated journal, the American Journal of Physics, uh, typically for upper level uh, college and uh, graduate school. Uh, two uh, journals that uh, you'll find a wide variety of projects and, uh, and tasks and of course keeping you up to date on what's going on in uh, the physics, uh, uh, physics area. I've...